So our next unit is going to involve a lot of algebra work, at least in the very beginning. So we're going to be looking at similarity and how it differs from congruent figures, which we've looked at earlier in the year. But before we can get into that, we got to do a little bit of algebra review for uh, proportions. So let's take a look at ratios and proportions, something that you know quite a bit about, but we're going to look at it again here. So what is a ratio? Well, a ratio is nothing more than a comparison. Let's write a comparison of two values. And it doesn't matter what you're comparing. You're comparing numbers, you're comparing uh, weights and measures, anything like that, miles per hour, that would be a ratio, okay? A proportion is slightly different. So ratios, we're talking about fractions. Uh, we could write as A to B. The right is A over B. Those are all ratios. A proportion are, is two equal ratios. So you're looking at A to B equals C to D, or A over B equals C over D. And we've dealt with this quite a bit, especially in our last unit, when we were talking about the geometric mean. That was a type of proportion. Okay, so how do we determine if ratios are equal or proportions are equal? Well, this is pretty easy and we've done a lot of this. This is where we use our cross product. Or some people say cross multiply. Okay, if the cross product is equal, then the ratios are also equal. So how do we solve problems? Well, we use that cross product. If we don't know one of these pieces, but we want to assume they're equal, then we can work with that. So here's a pr proportion. I don't know what the x is, but I think, hey, these are gonna be equal. So I use my cross product. Five times x is five x equals, don't lose the equal sign. I see a lot of people doing that. Six times 15. I need to go to my calculator here for that. Uh, six times 15 is 90. And therefore, x equals 18. Very simple problem. So, so easy that I think you can do these couple problems too. So take a moment to try these two problems. Do one, we'll go over it, and then we'll do the other. Okay, try this first one. Okay, so your cross product, three times x, and then six times six, x minus six. Remember to distribute here. 6x minus 36. That's where a step a lot of people forget. And now it's just a matter of moving things to each side. I'll move my 6x over, and I'll divide by a negative 3. So x is 12. Okay. Try the next one. Again, watch your multiplication. So this one's a little easier. My cross product, 2 times x. And the nice thing about 1 is when I multiply by 1, nothing really changes. So that's a pretty easy problem. That's 3x equals 21, so x is 7. All right. So once you can do that kind of problem, then we can solve bigger problems. Let's take a look at a few examples. Solve each of these using our cross products, OK? So go through. This is your step one of homework. Solve these and tell me what you get. We'll come back and we'll look at our solutions, okay? Okay, so solving this, 5x equals 45, x is 9. Okay. Multiply here, 6x equals, whoops, 80 minus 4x. So that's 10x equals 80. x, therefore, is 8. Over here, 6x minus 6 equals x squared plus x. I see an x squared. i got to do some factoring. So x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Don't lose your equal 0. Be careful in factoring this one. There's two different ways to factor a 6. I could use 6 and 1, or I could use 2 and 3. But since I want them both to be the same, I'm going to use 2 and 3. So we actually have two solutions here x is 3 or x is 2. So my solution is 3 and 2. You don't have to write it like that, but we usually, if you have multiple solutions, 
we sometimes do our solution set with these curly brackets. If you didn't do that, that's no big deal. If you just said 3 and 2, I get it. 16x equals 20. So x equals 20 over 16, which we can reduce, divide both by 4. So 5 over 4. Okay. So that should have been pretty light work for you. Let's look at how this works with word problems. So we've got a ratio of seniors to juniors in the chess club is two to three. So here's what you gotta look out for. The first word, seniors, is two. And in my next term, the juniors is three. So sometimes I'll actually write this out as seniors to juniors is two to three. How many seniors are in the club? So we're looking for, we know how many juniors there are, so that's the juniors, 24 juniors. So when I put this into my problem, seniors over 24, two over three. Once you've got that set up, it's pretty easy. So 3s equals 48. S therefore is, let me, blanking on basic arithmetic, 16. So there's my solution, 16 seniors. Try B, see how you do. Okay, B is a slightly different problem. We've got a, a shadow problem. You've probably seen these types of problems. A 15 foot building, cast a nine foot shadow, shadows on the ground. How tall is that building? How tall is a building that cast a 30 foot shadow? So we match our pieces up. Height, so 15 and X are both the heights. The shadows are 9 and 30. So I did height over shadow. So that's 9X equals, let's multiply that together, 450. And when I divide that by 9, I get x equals 50. So 50 feet. See what you do on the next one. So when we look at this one, we've got width and height are the two different things. So 3 inches wide, 5 inches high. If I got a width that was 15 inches, what is the height? There we go. So I did width over height in this problem. So that's going to be 3x equals 75. So that's x equals 25 inches. Last one. This one can be tricky, so be careful with it. So we're talking about two burgers every week. So two burgers every seven days. So burgers over days. Two burgers in seven days. How many burgers will he eat in 30 days? Okay. Be careful that you're not doing this by week. That could make a difference. So 7x equals 60. So x equals 60 over 7, which if I change that to a decimal gives me... 8.57. So how many full burgers? Well, he eats eight, just over eight and a half. So we haven't had nine full burgers. So you don't round up. He eats eight full burgers. So that one can be a little tricky. You got to be careful with that. Okay. So that's what we've got going on. Um, try some more problems here. And what I'll do is I'll put these answers up and we'll see how we do on this. Okay. So check these out, uh, we'll do these, and then check them out on the next page, okay? Good to go.